NASA's Kepler mission has discovered the first near-Earth-sized planet orbiting in the habitable zone of a star very similar to our Sun. Located about 1,400 light-years from Earth in the constellation of Cygnus, the newly discovered planet resides in the Kepler-452 system. The planet, called Kepler-452b, is about 60% larger than Earth. While its mass and composition are not known, researchers believe that it is likely to be a rocky world. The host star of Kepler-452b is the same G-type as our Sun. It is 6 billion years old, 1.5 billion years older than our Sun, and is 10% larger and 20% brighter. Kepler-452b receives only 10% more energy from its star than the Earth does from the Sun. Since the Kepler mission was launched in 2009, it has identified 4,696 planet candidates, 1,000 of which have been confirmed as planets. Of those confirmed, 12 are near Earth size and in the habitable zone of their star. The mission has provided data that has helped to redefine our understanding of stars and planetary systems in our galaxy. Researchers will use this data to continue to make discoveries for years to come. So Sarah, NASA has announced that there have been 500 new planets that they've found. They're particularly interested in 12 of them. Is this a big deal? Well, it is and it isn't, because um, NASA for a long time now has been looking for planets that are like Earth and exoplanets and other planets outside of the solar system. So we do know these exist and we know there's a lot of them. There's approximately 4,000 that they think are there. A few hundred of those they think are very like Earth. And then today's announcement says that there are some more that are very like Earth. But it doesn't take us especially any further forward than we already have been. So there was one particular one that they're very interested in, Kepler-452b. Why this one? So this is slightly more interesting because essentially this is very like our own Earth-Sun system. It's very similar in um, its orbit to the way Earth goes around our Sun and the distance between them is, is very similar and the size is very similar of, of both of them. Um, what's particularly interesting is it seems that this Sun, this faraway Sun, the new one they found, is approximately 1.5 billion years ahead in its life cycle to our Sun. So we're essentially looking into a, a crystal ball at what the Earth will be like in 1.5 billion years time when the sun's got much hotter and the earth has sort of turned into this very dry husk. It's 1400 light years away, this Kepler 452b. Um, so what's the next move? We're obviously not going to go and try and find it. Too far away. It is too far away, and, and it's back in time. I mean, that's essentially we're looking at something that's in the seventh century. Um, so even if we could travel that fast, that's a long time ago as well as a, a very long uh, way away. But what we are trying to do is hear sounds from um, planets that may have life on them. So um, there's lots of missions now out there which are pointing these big telescopes, radio telescopes, into space, trying to hear the sounds of civilizations elsewhere. And so this gives us somewhere to look. It sort of um, gives us an idea of where to point our telescopes and say that that's where the best chance we have of finding life is.